11 and a half weeks out to my first men's physique show okay i just updated my coach okay i send the progress pictures and again he has me checking in this week twice once on wednesday and once on sunday okay hopefully he gives me a refeed this upcoming wednesday so um but let me just show you real quick on how I'm looking right now. I already sent him the progress pictures um, and he gave me the diet schedule for the week. Apparently, he's actually raising my carbs this week compared to last week. Last week, we were eating a little bit less carbs. This week, he has me eating more carbs, okay? He's, I still have some low carb days, but... Um, He's gonna have me eating more carbs and he actually told me to tonight it is it's Sunday right now he told me to have um, seven ounces of steak any steak that I want it could be fatty steak with uh, nine ounces of potato okay so super interesting he has me refeeding with just steak and potatoes I'm probably gonna go to a local steakhouse but um, yeah guys, let me show you my current physique right, right now. So this is how I'm currently looking. I'm about just under 12 weeks out. Okay, so 11 weeks and a few days. Okay, it is March 1st. Okay, so this is how I'm looking right now. So this is me 12 weeks out. I can do it too. Babe. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> she doesn't let me do my thing. You're like a mom. Yeah, I already opened it. That one's somewhere harder than others. It's a cord. <laughs> it's a cord. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be heard. <laughs> All right, so right here, guys, I got some rotisserie chicken right here with some rice and guac. Very, very simple meal. Very basic bodybuilding meal, right? But what's interesting about this chicken, let me show you real quick, okay? So for those of you that like to shop at Costco, okay? You guys know that their rotisserie chicken is fire, okay? But, you know, with the rotisserie chicken, it comes with, like, the drumsticks and the wings which you know those meats carry a lot of fat but on the side they actually sell just their chicken breast okay their rotisserie chicken breast so that you cook they cook the chicken right and they just separate the breast and they sell it apart so this has been a game changer for me because it's the same seasonings as the rotisserie and it tastes just as good just without all of the added fat from the drumsticks or the wings, you know? So this is clutch. So it's kind of awkward. Well, today I'm gonna to be walking you guys through a leg day. Okay, so I'm first gonna warm up as I usually do on the Airdyne bike. 
and we're gonna start with squats, all right? Squats is the first exercise. Like I said earlier in the video, okay, this is my first leg day, all right? So let's get it. So as you saw, I was warming up, you know, getting ready for uh, to do squats, you know, for my leg day. And Steven happened to show up, my coach, Steven Cow. So, you know, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to ask him to see if I can work out with him. And he was cool about it. You know, he said, yeah, you know, let's let's do it. And I was so pumped, you know, going into the workout, I just gave it my all, you know, and I followed his lead, anything he told me to do. I did it, you know, and we had such an amazing workout. Steven was putting out a lot of good knowledge, so enjoy the workout. Yeah, heck yeah, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. And like I said, like, if, if everything goes well, like, I want to be your second pro, man. And like, and, like, I know, like, with your guidance, I can get this. I think you look good. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how this show goes.
bitch. <laughs> Got to push through. I just want you to drill the workout so then your body's used to the core, but then when you load up the weight, you're pretty much ready to go for a max amount. So I had to go for like 12 to 15. But there's a lot of volume in the set. Well, you did good, man. You did really good. Thanks, man. The reason why I hired you is because like I want to kind of like be like you and, learn, and kind of like train like you do, eat like you do. So yeah, 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 yeah. You've been there, you've done that, and you know, I strongly believe in in finding people that to help you level up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sure, and, uh, sure. and this was very eye-opening because before I would rest a lot longer, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and yeah, like try to go heavier like you were saying, but now I know moving forward, I gotta like pick up the intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just think about it, if you, if you work out for 30 minutes full intensity, you get more of that workout than just being here for two hours, yeah. you know, just going through certain exercises. I, I mean, I, I used to go through gym when I was younger, I read it for two hours, but I just felt like as I trained more and more, I felt like I was wasting more time. Now I literally just time myself. Like I see that look, we're at one hour now, but when we start, my goal is to almost peak the workout around like 35, 45 minutes. And from there, everything else is just kind of extra credit. Oh, and this is pretty much extra credit. We could have just left after that leg workout. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But the goal is to, just like your meals, the frequency of the workouts every week, but you'll get stronger as you know, weeks and weeks go as you train. But I would recommend like to take a break, like how I did from training like this, because if you do it for too long, then you start to wear out. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? With a workout like this, you know that you're gonna burn through all those meals that you're gonna eat. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna have to give you a repeat when you check in. Let me check it on Wednesday. Wednesday. Tomorrow. Yep. And we'll see how you I feel like you might drop some weight. Easy, yeah. you know? But we'll see how it goes. Are you doing cardio? I'm doing cardio, yeah. Yeah. Quite yeah. 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 Just because after I always recommend after hitting legs like that, like just to get your legs moving. Because if you don't, like tomorrow, when you wake up, you're just gonna feel like super slow, like your legs will be really fatigued. So I always try to do a little bit of cardio after. Yeah. Like, hold on, I even told him, hey, my food's coming out. Give me Ew. a second. <laughs> he started laughing. But I was like, I was impressed. I was like, it was very eye-opening as far as like the pace that he goes. You know, he goes really fast. He rests, short rest period periods, but his intensity is still high. He trains heavy and you can feel like every rep, the blood was like rushing to my legs, you know, and to my shoulders. So it was very eye-opening, like to see how um, in intense he trains, you know. So I definitely know, like moving forward, I got to pick up the intensity with my workouts, you know, because he even told me like this is how I want you to train every time you come in, you know, keep the intensity high and have the the workouts be very dense as as far as volume, like a lot of reps, a lot of sets, and get the blood in the muscle, you know. So. I was resting like no more than a minute between each set, you know, and um, definitely like having someone there to push you, you know, it's very, 
it's very motivating too, you know? Like, he, if you want to level up, you got to train with people that are at another level, you know? So they can push you. So, you know, super pumped that we were able to um, catch him, you know, as I was walking in. So hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout. I was beat after that. My legs were throbbing, you know, and also my shoulders. But, you know, I'm super excited moving forward into, into, you know, week 12 and 11. You know, Steven was telling me that I have a lot of potential to grow into the show. So, super excited what we do moving forward and what he has planned for me. You know, but um, right now, you know, I'm feeling great. My food is still really high. So, hopefully over the weeks to come, you know, we can keep the food as high as possible. As I shed the belly fat, you know, I know it's inevitable that eventually calories are going to be cut, my cardio is going to be increased, but, you know, as my coach was saying, you know, I'm in a really good position right now, being 12 weeks out, so, super pumped. What's going on, YouTube? Hope you enjoyed that workout with my coach, Steven. As you saw, we trained um, legs and shoulders, and he absolutely kicked my ass. You know, it was an awesome, awesome workout. You know, one thing that I noticed about the way that he trains is that he trains at a very, very high pace. And it's something that I'm not used to. I'm used to taking my time between each set, going hard for each set, resting, then going hard again. But he goes hard all the time throughout the whole entire workout. As you saw, like I almost vomited, you know. One thing that was pretty cool that Steven had me doing this week is that he had me check in with him on Wednesday. Okay, so he had me check in with him midway through the week just to see how my physique was looking, how I was progressing. And he noticed considering that this week I've been eating a, a little bit lower carbs, you know, he thought I was looking a little bit flat so he told me to refeed and have three rolls of sushi on Wednesday, which was awesome. So I went ahead with my girlfriend, went to a sushi restaurant, I had um, some sushi, we enjoyed our time together. So that was really awesome for him to check in with me midway through the week just to see how I'm doing, okay? And also another thing that I've changed this week as far as my meals, something very interesting is that I'm starting to blend my oats, okay? So I'm putting my oats in a blender, blending them before boiling them. And as you can see, you know, they it comes out like a much more, um, almost like cream of rice and it tastes much better. It's almost like a cakey consistency and it's really, really good. I've really been enjoying blending my oats for breakfast as again, it makes it just taste much better, okay? Um, you know, as far as as far as what I add on my oats, I always add cinnamon, stevia, blueberries, and that's about it. That's usually what I add to it, and it tastes really good, especially now that it's blended, okay? One thing that I also did is I trained legs with my boy, Jose. So we first started with trap bar deadlifts, okay, to hit your glutes and your hamstrings. Then we went on and did the glute and ham raise, which is the GHR, okay, that was really killer. You know, it really targets your hamstrings and glutes, okay. After that, we went on to, on to some heavy hack squats, okay. So I hit a personal best with the hack squat. I hit 405 or four plates on each side for a set of eight, a set of six. We then stripped off two plates on the last set and went to failure. I was able to hit 12. My boy Jose hit 15, he's an absolute beast. From there, we moved on to uh, Smith Machine Barbell Bulgarian Split Squats, okay? So this was just to finish off the muscles. We did sets of anywhere from 10 to 15 reps just to get as much blood into the muscle, okay? So that was a really, really intense workout, you know? And it's always fun to train with friends, you know, especially the ones that push each other and that don't complain. I don't like training with people that complain. You know, same thing like when I was going to train with Steven, you know, I didn't want to waste his time. I wasn't going to complain. I was just going to do the work and do my absolute best to keep up with him, which, you know, thankfully everything went well, you know, so it's been an awesome week so far. I'm going to check in with Steven 
tomorrow okay and i'm looking forward to see what he has for me you know we're gonna we're 12 weeks out okay we're getting closer and closer to the show and i'm super excited to start start melting this fat off and if you enjoy this video please hit subscribe like hit the bell button comment down below anything you got to say any questions questions you may have okay but subscribe to follow my journey to see on what it takes to get shredded for my first men's physique competition this is something i've wanted to do for a long time i finally committed to following through with this and i'm excited to bring you guys along so we can grow together all right so uh thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on 11 weeks out let's go